Well, thanks very much. You mentioned both the heat and the wind. Arizona is known for being hot, but not necessarily too windy. In fact, central and southern Arizona have some of the least windy cities in the country. All right. So as you might have noticed, uh, this year is much different. Chris Pickle joining us now. So it's not our imagination here. Our store, uh, state is not normally this windy. I'm so glad you're talking about this because I've been thinking this every afternoon as I'm coming into work. I'm practically yes. blown into the door. Exactly, because for months, it has seemed like almost every day has been a windy day, and we are not normally like that. I talked to a meteorologist with the National Weather Service who ran the data for me, and he confirmed that this is one of the top five windiest years that we have seen in more than three decades. It has been a, a windier than normal, at least if you take into an account the spring and early summer months. What information did you look at to make that determination? Well, we looked at the average uh, wind speeds at Sky Harbor Airport. Of course, uh, the airport uh, takes observations at least once every hour. Not just a nuisance when it comes to dust, allergies, and keeping track of patio furniture. Winds whip up problems with wildfires. In five days, the Telegraph Fire, currently Arizona's largest, grew to more than 84,000 acres. Partially, why the reason why we've had um, uh, these large fires this year, the winds helped to spread the fires, and especially in combination with the dry conditions and the dry vegetation. The issue this year is a stubborn dome of warm air that's just been sitting east of our state. A series of cooler storms from the northwest have been colliding with the warm air, creating winds. Whenever there's an unusual weather pattern, people always want to know, is this the result of climate change or is this just an unusual weather pattern? Well, if, uh, right now it's looking more like just a, an unusual weather pattern. In terms of uh, the longer term in climate change, there's really no signal either way that, uh, that these events are becoming more or less frequent. But changes are happening. The winds are actually going to be going away but we're going to be seeing much hotter temperatures and that is starting next week. So the good news is yes, while it's going to be hot, at least guys, <laughs> it is not going to feel like a blow dryer out there because the winds are going to be settling down. We'd like those winds to bring up some moisture from the south. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes, please. Yeah. But we knew there was a change in the air and nice mm -hmm. to yes. see you on the news at six. Thank nice you. Nice to see you guys too, but I should add, this change is not gonna bring any moisture. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's Gotta the unfortunate wait for that. part. Yeah. All right, Chris, thank you.